The FBI is assisting in the search for the missionaries, 16 Americans and one Canadian abducted by a gang in Haiti. Laura Podesta reports on their demands for release and how the island nation is reacting. Protesters shut down streets in Haiti Monday, demanding more security from their government following the kidnapping of 16 Americans and one Canadian as the missionaries traveled to this orphanage near Port-au-Prince over the weekend. Our friends, our relatives, our dear brothers and sisters um, are suffering right now in a very real physical, emotional, mental way. Missionary Tirza Rarick met in Ohio with family members of the missing. She says they're praying for the kidnappers. It is our prayer on their behalf that they would turn from their evil ways and that they would come to the God that we worship, the God, the one God, and that they would receive forgiveness for the evil things they've done. The well-known gang 400 Mawozo is reportedly asking $1 million for each captive, according to the Wall Street Journal. The U.S. State Department and other government agencies are now working closely with Haitian authorities to locate the hostages, one of whom is just two years old. Our efforts right now are focused are with um, uh, 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 officials on the ground, including from the FBI. Haiti's been rife with political unrest following the assassination of its president back in July. The island nation suffers from poverty and poor infrastructure following the recent earthquake. Kidnappings in the country have increased 300% between July and September, with at least 221 abductions recorded. Laura Podesta, CBS News. The U.S. has a policy not to pay ransom as the money would be used to further fund terrorist groups. Though sometimes concessions are made, the White House couldn't release many details about the names or ages of the victims because of privacy regulations.